Now we're going to begin the ribbing. After we finish the last row with the slip stitch, now what we're going to do is like this. Chain 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we're going to go back, beginning from the second stitch from the hook. So 5 stitches going back. 1, 2, 3, 4, and now when we get to the last stitch, the fifth stitch over here, what we're going to do is go into the stitch, but don't do it yet, and now we're going to go behind the first stitch on our sleeve right over here from behind picking up this stitch like this and now we're going to complete the single crochet so pull through all of those and then pull through the last two okay so here we've begun creating our ribbon now what we're going to do is turn it around and now we're going to pick up the next stitch from the sleeve together with the first stitch from the ribbing but the ribbing is going to be worked in the back loop only so the way we do that is like this we pick up the next stitch from behind both loops and then we go into the back loop of the first stitch from the ribbing like that okay and now we complete the stitch so pull through all of those and then pull through the last two okay and now we're going to continue here another four stitches going in the back loop only two three four and five we have five stitches all together including that first one that we connected with the sleeve okay once we reach the end turn around your work and now we're going to go back again back loop only One, two, three, four, and then the fifth stitch again. We're going to pick up two stitches. So back loop only from here, and then going from behind the next stitch from the sleeve, and make a single crochet. Like that turn it around and then going through the back of the next stitch from the sleeve and into the back loop of the first stitch of the ribbing and making a single crochet like this and like this okay and then continue here back loop only two three four and five let's see how our ribbing is looking it's looking nice and neat we're picking up the stitches as we go along from the sleeve so it's connecting it nice and sturdy we're going to continue on this way until we finish the whole sleeve with the ribbing. Once you've reached the end of the stitches, here I am on my last one from the sleeve.
Now you might have one more if you have an even number of stitches since I had odd numbers so I finished off over here. But if you finish off over here then that's fine, you'll do exactly the same steps. So now we're going to connect these two together. So fold them so that they should be as close as possible. And now we're going to go through this first row of stitches together with this row of stitches. So let's find the first stitch over here. That's right there. Like this. Go through that one. And now in the front loop of in the back loop, sorry. Of this one over here. And make a single crochet. Like that. Now the next one. One, here's two, two, back loop, single crochet, then three, four, and five. The last one can be a bit hard because it's very tight. There we go. Okay. Here we go. We've closed it up nicely. Again, if you're beginning from this side, we'll end up over here. It's exactly the same thing. Now let's cut our yarn. Pull it through to secure. Okay. And our first sleeve is all done. Look how nice and neat that is. If you see this little connection point from the ribbing to the sleeve, don't worry about that because remember, we are in the inside of our sweater. And on the other side, which is going to be on the outside, it's nice and smooth transition. So, we have our sleeve done. And now we're going to repeat the exact same process on this side. Picking up the stitches, crocheting the rows, and ending with the ribbing. But we're going to be paying attention very carefully to two things. Since we want to make it exactly the same as this one. So, number one, make sure you're picking up exactly the same amount of stitches. That's why we needed to count them. And number two, make sure you're making the exact same amount of rows as you've made over here. So I'll meet you when my second sleeve is done. Here I've got my second sleeve done, exactly the same as my first sleeve. And now we're up to the last part, which is the ribbing around the neck. And this should be very easy because we already know how to make the ribbing thanks to these sleeves. And we're going to use the exact same method around the neck. We're going to start in the middle of the back on one side of those of that join over here. We're going to start from over here. This stitch is just a joining stitch. So we're going to begin with the first real stitch over here. Make a slip knot. And now slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, so we got it nice and secure. And now we're going to chain six stitches one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to continue making the ribbing all around the neck. And I'll meet you when we're done. And here the neckline is done. Look how nice and neat that came out to be. So now for the very last step is going to be sewing in all our little ends and then we're done. So grab your darning needle and begin sewing them in.
if you've gotten a little bit of a hole when you were connecting the neckline you can just close it up while you're hiding the tail And with that, our sweater is done. Remember to turn it around so that you have the neat side and the outside. And look how nice and neat that looks. Our sweater is so nice and perfect. And it was all crocheted in one piece. So no sewing together, sleeves or panels or ribbing. It was all crocheted all in one piece. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. All the best.